Do you ever feel like you need a reset on your whole body, but you don't want to spend an hour doing it? That's what this class is for today. My name is Mary. We're going to work chair yoga, either seated or standing beside it to have a little balance assist. Let's begin. Find the most comfortable place for you to practice. All the movements I'm going to show today can be done from a seated position. Let's start with hands on hips. Roll your shoulders back three times. This third time, really press your shoulder blades toward your hip pockets. Keep it there. And release. Bring your shoulders forward and bring them back. Bring them forward. Bring them back one last time, forward. And back, standing beside your chair with hands on the seat. Feet are greater than hip width apart. We are gonna do cat-cow breathing. You will raise your ribs forward and look forward on the inhale. Exhale, arch your back. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, follow your body's breathing pattern. We have two more breaths. Last breath coming up here. Very nice. Bring your feet into hip width apart. Right knee comes up towards your chest and then extends in back. Three more. Lift the knee. Extend. If being on one foot is not right for you today, lift the knee and then tap the toe behind. Very nice. And once more, feet are wider than hip width. Press your tush back, lengthening the back side of your legs. Hands still on the surface of your chair. This is a modified down dog. Feel the back side of those legs lengthening. One more breath here. Beautiful. Bring yourself upright. Standing still beside your chair, come up on your toes and lower. Working on ankle mobility right now. Twice more after this and down. If you're very comfortable up on your feet, you can release your hand, but only if you're comfortable balancing. Last time up. And down. If you're working with a heavy chair, you are walking behind it. I'm going to turn my chair so you can see the next move. This completes the work on ankles. We are taking your ankles through both the directions that it typically moves. And the way to go into dorsiflexion, where toes come towards your nose, is to go into chair pose and hold. Very nice, come back up, take a breath in. Exhale. Now breathing deeply and evenly. Three more times coming to a stand and going down into chair. Again. 
down into chair. Once more. Down into chair. Come upright. Stand for a moment. Let everything lengthen. One breath here. Exhale. Your right leg is now going to extend behind your body, either resting on your toes or slightly elevated off the floor, whichever is right for you. Two breaths. Very nice. Extend this right leg behind, landing on your toes. Your pelvis is pressing forward towards the wall for a high lunge. One more breath here. Exhale, all right. Lift your foot off the floor, extend it back just a little further. Your foot is on an angle. You are hinged forward. Feel what's happening in your left glute as you are hinging from your hip. And now torso is upright for warrior one. You can extend one arm up, whichever one feels most comfortable or remain holding onto your chair. If you are seated performing this move, you are turned sideways in your seat. All right, rotate your shoulders. Extend your right arm behind you for warrior two. Does a nice job opening that chest. If and only if you are very comfortable, you can assume a complete warrior two. One more breath here. I'm going to turn my shoulders back towards my chair, holding on with both hands, shifting my weight onto my left leg. The knee is softly bent, standing with my right foot perched on the toes or lifting into warrior three, whichever is right for you. One more breath here. Bring that leg down. Step together. Remaining behind your chair if you're on a heavy piece of furniture. Since I'm not and I want to show the opposite side, here I am turning my chair for you. So let's once more go into heel raises and down at a comfortable pace for you. Fingers are holding on to the back of your chair. Are your ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips? Belly button gently brought in, supporting your torso. Lower. Take a half step wider on each foot, pressing your tush back, going down into a chair pose. Press up to stand. Again, down into chair, that ankle coming forward. Actually, it's the lower leg coming forward, helping that ankle dorsiflex, a functional movement pattern for ankles. Sometimes as we lose mobility in our lower limbs, we have a harder time dorsiflexing. That's why I've put this in. 
stand. Let your blood come back to your head. If it tends to get stuck in your lower body, bring your feet together. Extend that leg, perched on the toes. And now, hinging up and perching on the toes of your left foot for that high lunge. Upper body forward towards your chair. Now torso upright, shoulders away from your ears. Left hand reaches back. One side of your body will feel more comfortable in this single position of warrior two. Bring that left hand back to your chair. Bring your torso forward. Softly bent knee on that right leg. Perched on the toe once more. Or into warrior three. Again, only moving where you feel safe. Bring that leg down. Let's turn to the side. Two breaths here. Roll your shoulders back and down. Roll your shoulders back and down. Let's lengthen the side of your torso. Left leg goes out. Left arm comes up and over. Feeling that stretch all the way into the front of your pelvis. Bringing that left arm back as an imaginary branch in a tree. So your left foot comes off the floor as you hold on with your right hand on your chair, or you can be perched on your toes, whichever's right for you. Now adding a little balance challenge, you are rotating that left knee towards the center and out to the side, towards the center and out to the side. Once more, beautiful job, bring that arm down. Staying behind your chair as you're standing sideways. This time the right foot is going to extend to the side as you reach over. Lengthening the side of that torso Beautiful, bring that right arm back. Step together, perch on your toes or on your single standing leg. Arms are out, one arm is out as branch. Open and close those legs. Three more. Two. And one, beautiful job, foot down. Hanging onto your chair with one hand, forward fold. Two breaths here. All right, come upright, standing directly behind your chair. Arms go behind your legs. We did a lot of forward motion. We need to now go backwards. Elbows back, head up slightly, looking up. 
releasing that upper back in a different direction. Head forward, release your arms. Step together, three breaths here before we start to close our practice. Put a lot of emphasis on the lower body today while still bringing your upper body into the practice. All right, hold on to your chair as we visit those ankles one more time. Up and down, four, three. Last time, up on toes. Very nice. Toes forward, hinging from your hips, bending at the knees, and up, chair pose with chair, glutes go back, and up, three more. And up, twice more. Lower, lower, lower. Very nice. Standing beside or seated in your chair. Let's finish with hands on your thighs. If you're seated, you may close your eyes. If you are standing beside your chair, roll those shoulders back and down. Turn your head right. Shake your head no. Very slowly, small movement. Drop your chin towards your armpit. Beautiful, bring your head up. Center, drop your chin to your chest. Head up, left ear turning towards the back wall, looking at that side wall. Drop your chin towards your left armpit. Bring your head back, looking at the wall. Very small no, side to side. Bring your head back to center. Clasp your fingers together behind the base of your skull. We are gonna let our chin drop to our chest. And as we lower our head, bringing elbows forward. All right, begin to bend that neck. Reaching down towards your chest with your chin, elbows reaching toward each other. Four breaths here. Feel the length in the back of your neck. Two more breaths. Bring your chin up slowly, opening those elbows till they're out towards the side walls. Extend those arms. Palms are up, take a breath in. Exhale, palms down. Twice more, breathe in. Fingers, thumbs pointing to the back wall. Exhale, palms down. Breathe in, palms up, thumbs reaching back. 
Exhale, palms down at the side of your body, two breaths. One last breath. We have moved everything in your body in lots of directions to encourage length and mobility, but also stability. My name is Mary. Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me today. I look forward to next time. Bye-bye.